guys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel if it's your first time. Um, we're going to do some comedy. Right now we're going to do Roy Chubby Brown, You Fat Bastard, 1999. Okay, I've seen this on uh, suggestions, video suggestions there on the screen, and, and uh, I couldn't pass up on the title. So, we're going to watch this just by the thumbnail. He looks kind of goofy. So I don't know how funny he's going to be, or if he is even going to be funny, but if he's not, well, you won't see the video, so what is the difference? But I don't know. If he's as funny as he is goofy looking, he's going to be hysterical. <laughs> anyway, let's watch Roy Chubby Brown, You Fat Bastard. <laughs> I've been married a couple of times. My first wife couldn't stand me drunk, and I couldn't fucking stand there sober. <laughs> I slapped her in bed one night, I'm not proud of it lads, but no fucker sleeps when I'm shagging him. <laughs> she was very, very jealous of me. I bought that video one night with Sharon Stone in it, basic instincts, you know where she crosses her legs and you get a glimpse of the old crack. <coughs> she went, look at you, you big, dirty, mucky, fat bastard. You take away her blonde hair, blue eyes, white teeth, 36D cup and long legs, and what have you got? I said, fucking you! <laughs> we had to go to a marriage guidance council, and it was like this, there was a lot of people there, and you have to tell them your problems. Is any man in here would let another man slander his wife? I went, excuse me. <laughs> Mr. Brown, would you come forward and tell the class what you just said? You'd let another man slander your wife. I said, sorry, sorry. I thought you said fucking slaughter. <laughs> She's always causing trouble. She's always causing trouble. One day, go and punch John next door. I said, Big John. Fuck off. <laughs> well, he's just said he'd like to drink lager from my pussy. I said, I'm not fighting anybody who can drink that fucking much. <laughs> I let her go for the weekend, I let her go to Blackpool for the weekend, a little seaside resort, as you know, and she went with the girls, and they were all getting tattoos, they were all getting the boyfriend's name tattooed on the, or mild and bitter on the tits, or little roses on their asses. you know, we women are like, when they get together and they've had a fucking drink. So she went to this tattooist, this backstreet tattooist, she said, I want a little butterfly on here, a little lemon one on here, and a little a blue or, or lilac one on, on, on here. Well, he couldn't fucking draw. He just put a letter B on one cheek and a letter B on the other. So she come home, walked in the bedroom, she went, darling, what do you think? I said, who's this fucking Bob? <laughs> you got that? Just? <laughs> Back to the piano, because I know you're dying to hear me play. She goes, oh, papa, oh, je papa. Here we go. Go on, chubby, you fat bastard. Woo! Hey, diddle diddle, the can the fiddle. Mad cow got a disease. He went into the jungle and shot the baboon. He didn't know about the AIDS. That's a disease. Should have worn a rope with a silly cow. If it's me, I'm a one eat steak now. I said, yeah. Yeah. Fucking yeah. Oh, yeah. One or two not fucking singing here. <laughs> I've seen you, you twats. <laughs> Here we go. Jill up a hill Silly Jill with none on the pill Jack Buck's out with a crack Oh, look at Jill was on her back Now months later I suppose you heard Jill give birth to a name Panted I said yeah Yeah Fucking yeah Yeah An original poem by Chubbs Brown I'm not frightened of my wife, lads, and if I want to smoke and drink, and she won't tell me when to stain, or my feet fucking stink. She won't tell me not to back horses, 
I'll shag a dolly bed on the floor and I'll tell her to her fucking face when I see her. But I'm not going home anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so this fella's ploughing a field, a big good looking lad, you know, not, not as handsome as me. I don't want you to get carried away. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> so he's ploughing this field. He got to the end of the field and he undone the plough. And a small dog with a girl in it, she was travelling. She was going to see her mother herself. And she stopped the car and she thought, love a fag. And she spotted the blows and fucking hell. He's fucking gorgeous. She wanted the Chippendales. <laughs> he undone the plough, lifted the plough up, which incidentally was full of mud. <laughs> Muscle. Went back for the horse, picked the horse up, she went, oh, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Good now, fuck him. She couldn't take it any longer. She ran out of the car, never even locked it. Ran across the ploughed field in her high shoes. She went, ah, one fuck, and he said, so do I, I've just ploughed the wrong bastard field there in this one. <laughs> what happens with me, we've been in Blackpool for 15 years, with all the lads, and the lads will tell you this, I said, what we're going to do at the weekend is John's uh, stag night. Oh, we'll go and see Chubby, he'll, he'll give us a fucking laugh. So they come on bus trips, and they stop at every bastard pub on the way. Now, I don't mind, but when they get there, they're fucking rat assed they go out and like that with a cup. Fuck is he? Where's the fat cunt? <laughs> so I put this little routine together about the boys who come to Blackpool. I think you'll relate to this and you'll say, hey, Chubby's right. <laughs> In the summertime, Blackpool is fine. I mean, the rat ass pissed on cheap bottles of wine. And in Blackpool, the women, oh, are fucking awful. <laughs> get some condoms, you could be lucky and get a 69er. <laughs> if a daddy's rich, she could be a bitch. If a daddy's poor, she may be a whore. This is Take her on the beach. Right a back scuttle would be mighty fine. <laughs> All your balls, lads, you could be flicking sand up that big vagina. <laughs> because men have no patter girls, have they? The first thing they'll say to you is that line. You know that line? Or oh, that other one that must get on your fucking nerves. You must be sick to death to hear me. <laughs> because men are sex, man, they say one thing and mean another. You know what they're thinking? Hey! <laughs> If a woman's half decent, you know what she'll say to him? <laughs> Take her on the beach, never mind about it in San Diego. You can go. Fucking happened to chubs, I couldn't even get a hard on. You know what I had to do? I'm in a club with a load of lads and I think they were winding me up. They said, Chubby, the girl in the red dress, loves the fuck. I said, are you sure? Hey, little girl, what are you doing tonight? Do you fancy a shag and then we'll go for a bite? Well, I'm standing with the boys out of the blue. He said, he thought you'd like a cock or two. She went. I worked out the riddle, she parted her hair straight down the middle. Shopping thing was, you know where you pee? Bloody big old, where the minge ought to be, I thought. <laughs> we ended up in bed after the dance, I was that excited, nearly coming my pants. She's lying there like the Queen of Hearts, I'm just about to lick it, she goes and fart. <laughs> The smell came up and that's not all. Oh, it even took the paper off the fucking wall. Doing that to me, because they smacking the gob. I didn't want to spoil my chance. I might have got a blowjob. This woman was cute.
wish I had child-bearing hips and I whipped off me belt and me bicycle clip. What is that? Something to catch you. Gives me hairy funny did I feel it's what I thought. <laughs> The door swung open, in came a breeze. The husband was then, she was down on her knees. I wouldn't come off, mate, I feel fucking wrong. You ain't just helping me bite off the corn. Story's unbelievably true, he said, hey, fat bastard of the fuck are you? I went. <laughs> Thank you very much, you are kind. <laughs> Back from Bastard. Right. Play the music, Alan. I'm going to sort this fucking bastard out in front of you. He's caught. Just play the music. I'm going to sort this fucking. Where's the gloves? I've knocked the fucker out. <laughs> Just my look at me, a black belt of judo. I get the stage door at 11 o'clock. Remember me, fat gun? <laughs> you know what Blackpool's like? I mean, last weekend it was packed. It was absolutely packed last weekend. I was on the beach and I picked the shell up and it was engaged. I went paragliding, I didn't mean to, I was just shaking my fucking towel. <laughs> a tramp come over, you haven't got a couple of bob, have you? Well, look, boys and girls, I started with nothing, so I'll give them a tip. Over the fucking sea, whoa! I said, get a job, you scruffy twat! <laughs> I saw a tramp kicking a cardboard box, and a copper went, hey, 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 what are you doing? He said, I'm moving out. A Jehovah's Witness asked me for money. Well, they believe in reincarnation. He said, have you got a couple of all? I said, I give in a previous life. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah. I've got the wife in the can. I'm walking up and down looking for digs. You know, 15 pounds, full bed and breakfast. 17 pounds, full of sheets. If you want it. So, I'm, in the pouring rain, I got back to the car and I am soaked to the fucking skin. The wife said, are you wet? I went, boom, does that fucking hurt? <laughs> Was, uh, Roy Chubby Brown, you fat bastard. Uh, I'd never heard of him before. Uh, I don't know who he was, but like I said, I couldn't pass the title. He had some funny stuff, he had a few good lines, some good songs, which I'm sure is going to be copyrighted. But uh, we'll see what gets through. So, thanks for watching. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a nice day.